So I just ate some deer steaks, two of them. It says the hay schnitzel that made this, uh, a deer. You can still see the blood on my plate here. And I drank it together with the milk and I made some garlic mayonnaise. <clears throat> I all got it down together with this. You can still see the blood. And I'm, I tell you this because uh, for, for a Jew, this is uh, the most for, one of the most forbidden things. You know, they've got two kitchens in every household. One for the milky d d dairy products and one for the meat. Because they say the soul is in the blood. And these sort of things, they call it kosher. You cannot mix it. I think it's very, it's delightful to mix it, you know. The blood and the milk. It was great. I got my belly nice filled and it was really great. So I, I think it's a good combination, blood and milk, you know. So, I mean, there's a lot of people who, well, some people who say, well, you must be a Jew, you know, because uh, you don't uh, criticize Zionism. Well, I don't, but you see, you know, this, this is something a Jew would never do. <clears throat> and I've got my sexual organs still intact as well, as uh, the Lord created it, you know, if you believe in things like this. So actually I think there, there are two sorts of Zionism, there's political Zionism and there's religious Zionism. The religious Zionism, they talk about some God who will bring them all back to Jerusalem. Zion is Jerusalem, and then there's political Zionism that says, well, we, before we pray and hope that God will come and help us, you know, we'll do it ourselves. And that's, that's the thing I like, you know, that's why we've got, you know, all these religions, it means pray and do nothing. You know, Hinduism and Buddhism and Islam and, and, and Christianism and uh, Judaism, pray and don't do anything, you know. And this is why the whole world is going down the drain. Because we all believe in some celestial entity who never comes. And nobody has seen him yet. So, I love milk and blood all together. Mix it down, swallow it down with some garlic mayonnaise and digest it. So, this is what a Jew would never do. Uh, maybe they're right, I don't know, but I like it. You know, I don't mind. Okay, bye. And of course, I also eat pig's meat. It says shinken, jambon. I love pig's meat, but I prefer deer actually. I don't really, you know, but I eat it, you know, it's like with bacon and eggs, you know. I do. So that's not uh, Islamic, it's not Jewish, it's nothing. It's just fill up your belly and shut up. You know, that's what it is. <laughs> so finally what I'm going to do now, take a slice of bread and dip it in the blood. It's already cold because I had to film this. That's why I didn't film, videotape my, uh, my steak because I wanted to eat it first. So I take and dip the bread in here, in the blood, the cold blood, and then drink it with the juicy milk. This is biological milk from uh, Demeter. So, Demeter. So you see, the blood is on my sandwich. It's a blood sandwich and I drink it together with the milk. <clears throat> so this is not kosher at all. I call it pagan food. Yeah. But again, I think uh, political Zionism is okay because it means uh, act first and then pray. And I think that's a good thing. Eh? So, so I, I'm going to title this video uh, Kosher Food and uh, uh, pay against like pagan food, you know, uh, like the uh, and uh, nothing to do with the kosher ma nostra or something. You know, in Europe, you know, people had to had to eat everything, you know, in order to survive. 
you know, people couldn't just pick things, you know. Uh, and this is a cold climate anyway, so I think pig's meat is alright. But of course, in a hot climate, there's another thing, there's a lot of bacteria that grow fast. And uh, it's the same with fasting, you know. Islamic fasting, it's in a hot country, it's okay to fast during the day. You know, the sun will keep you going. But in the north, people used to fast in the evening. They worked the whole day and then at 5 o'clock, you know, just go to bed. And people were too tired, you know, so they, they just fasted before, the, before television was invented. And uh, so the Europeans always did fasting, actually. And in, in colder, hot countries, it's better to fast in the evening. So you don't set too much weight because in the night you don't digest at all. And uh, well, I know, I know, I've got a fat belly, but you know, I, I know that it's that I you know eat in the evening and watch some television. Uh, before before the torture in Switzerland, I didn't have it. So okay, this is pagan food. Bye bye.